Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today we are going to focus on some cards for every season. And I have a fun and simple paper tearing technique that I'm going to share with you. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have four different card ideas to share, each featuring just a different season. Now, I'm also going to share two different designs and a little paper tearing technique. Now the cards in this video feature the Life is Beautiful stamp set from Stampin' Up! And this particular stamp set has a variety of images that you can use to create cards really for any occasion or any season. For a complete list of supplies and all of the step-by-step -step instructions for creating these cards, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Okay, so the first couple of cards I want to share with you are kind of my favorite cards. They feature kind of a summer theme with the greens here, the green leaves. And they also feature an autumn theme. So I'm going to show you how to make the summer themed one. And then I'll bring the autumn themed one back and we can take a closer look at that. So let me tell you how to make it. So the first thing you'll need is a piece of old olive cardstock for the base of your card. Then you will need a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. So this is the one that we're gonna do our stamping on. So we can set aside the card base for now. So you're going to need some scrap paper for underneath your white cardstock. And we're gonna start by stamping the trunk of the tree and the branches. So it's a pretty big image. So I recommend that you pick up your ink pad and just blot it all over the image. And we're gonna stamp it slightly off to the left so that the trunk of the tree is kind of close to the left edge of the cardstock. Next, we're gonna use that crumb cake ink and we're just going to stamp our little birdhouse. Then you can go ahead and grab some old olive ink and we're gonna stamp the leaves. So we're gonna use a little stamp off technique. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just ink up my leaf image and I'm gonna stamp that darker image kind of right in the center here. And then without re-inking it, I'm gonna stamp it again. And that just gives it a lighter shade of green. And then I'm gonna stamp off and I'm gonna keep using that lighter shade of green just to add some lighter leaves kind of all around the image. Okay, pretty simple, right? So since I have my ink out, I'm also gonna take another five and a quarter by four inch piece of cardstock. And this time we're gonna stamp the inside right away. So I'm gonna stamp some of those leaves up on the top. So again, I'm gonna start in the center with the darker and then go lighter towards the edge. And we'll do another stamp off, and there we go. Okay, so now I've got my inside piece done and I've got the piece for the outside of the card. I'm just gonna set aside the inside one for now. So we'll pick up this piece, and what we're gonna do is a little bit of paper tearing down this right side. So the key to paper tearing is just to kind of apply pressure with, since I'm doing it this direction, you wanna apply pressure with your left hand and do the tearing with your right hand. So. You'll notice as I go along that I'm just kind of moving my thumb and kind of keeping this paper tight as I tear. And so I wanna tear slowly so that I get a good tear. And you can see how the paper tears, I get this really nice tear line here. And I just kind of move it back and forth and just tear all the way down the side of the cardstock. So we're gonna bring our card base back. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is cut like a one and a quarter, a one or one and a quarter inch piece of designer paper. So it's one and a quarter inch wide and it's five and a quarter inches long. And we're just going to adhere that on the right side of our card front. So I always cut this piece a little bit larger so that when I go to lay this piece on top, I have plenty of designer paper there behind it. Um, so it gives it a really nice look. Okay, so we're gonna adhere this piece over the top of the designer paper. So we want that torn section to be on that designer paper. And I'm just using a little bit of liquid glue to just kind of scoot this around. 
Okay, then you're gonna create a little sentiment. So I just did a little bit of heat embossing here on some old olive cardstock. So this is just white embossing powder. Um, and this is a three quarter inch wide piece of cardstock. So I did my embossing and now I can go ahead and just pop this up with a couple dimensionals. And then for the finishing touch, I'm just gonna add a little gem, a little white gem, okay? So that's really how quick and simple it is to make this card. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add that inside piece now. So I've already completed the stamping on the top. So I highly recommend that you do that while you have the stamp out. And then you can go ahead and add a little piece of designer paper across the bottom. So this is just a one by four inch piece of designer paper. So it's just a fun way to decorate the inside of the card. So the other card that I wanna share with you is the exact same design that we just put together with the old olive cardstock, except in this case, I decided to use some pumpkin pie ink to kind of create that autumn look. And then I did my embossing on a piece of Cajun craze cardstock. And then I used some of the plaid papers from the plaid tidings designer series paper pack, but it's the exact same layout as this one. So you know how much I love to create cards, a variety of different cards using the same layout? Well, that's exactly what I did here. So we have kind of a summer themed card and then we have an autumn themed card and the inside is decorated the exact same way. A little bit of stamping on the top and my designer paper on the bottom. Okay, so there's two quick and simple card ideas and such a great way to use this stamp set. Okay, these next two card ideas are fairly similar to the first two that I shared. The only difference is that we're gonna do our paper tearing on the bottom here. And then I did a little bit of heat embossing on this particular card, but I'm just gonna show you the basic concept for creating this design and then you can get as creative as you want with it. Okay, so we're going to start out with a piece of smoky slate for the base of our card. So I'm just gonna set this aside for now and we're gonna bring back our scrap paper and we're gonna use a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock again. And then we're gonna stamp our tree image and so this time I'm gonna use some smoky slate ink to coordinate with the base of my card. And this time you're going to kind of stamp it right in the center so that your branches are kind of centered up on the top in between the, the edge of the cardstock. This time I'm gonna use a little different tree topper. It's kind of like little circular shapes, but the concept is the same. So I'm just gonna ink it up with some Melon Mambo ink and we're gonna stamp the dark right in the center. And then we're gonna go out further and stamp the lighter ones. So. Again, we're just gonna use the stamp off technique to create you know, all the little spots around this tree. So this is a great card to make for just kind of a, kind of reminds me of spring, just a bright, cheery, kind of Valentine's Day almost card. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing on another five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. So much like the last card, I'm just gonna create a little design here on the top. So this will be used for the inside of the card. Okay, so this is our inside piece, so I'm gonna set this aside for now. And then this is our outer part of the card. So this time we're gonna do the paper tearing on the bottom instead of down the side. So it's the exact same concept. You just wanna you know, hang on to your paper here and just kind of follow along as you tear. So I'm gonna tear this one a little bit wider. So it'll show more of the designer paper across the bottom. So let's bring back our card base. So this is our smoky slate card base. And then I just cut a one and a half inch by four inch piece of one of the plaid patterns from the Plaid Tidings Designer Series Paper Pack. So I'm just gonna add this on the bottom of the card. And then I'm gonna take our torn piece of paper here and just add that right over the top. Then you can go ahead and create your little sentiment. So I just used Melon Mambo cardstock, did a little heat embossing with the word hello. And then I'm just going to embellish it with another little gem, a little white gem, and there you go. 
It's just a really pretty and very simple card. Let's decorate the inside. So we already did our stamping across the top of our five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. So I'm just gonna adhere that to the inside. And then I'm just going to adhere a three quarter by four inch piece of pattern paper right to the bottom of this white cardstock piece. Another quick and simple and very beautiful card. It's just a, another fun way to use the stamp set. So this other card idea is the same type of design. So you can see it's very similar to the Melon Mambo one that I did. The only difference is that I used, of course, different colors. And I used the little snowflake image that was in the stamp set to create kind of a snow covered tree. So this is balmy blue cardstock and I just stamped the tree using the balmy blue ink and then used another piece of the pattern paper from that plaid tidings pack. Um, but the embossing just looks really cool and it just gives this card a really fun look. But the design and the layout of this card is exactly the same as the one I just shared with you. Okay, so there you go. Now you have four different card ideas featuring the Life is Beautiful stamp set. And you've also learned the paper tearing technique. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.